guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look here. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit more colorful and creative and something that it's not that wearable. <laughs> and I came up with a cut, cut crease. Is that how you call it? I'm gonna name it like that. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more looks like this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started so i already have on my foundation concealer and eyebrows i did my eyebrows a little bit thicker this time and i'm looking kind of manly if i don't have anything on my eyelid but it's okay and i'm going to apply a shadow base in my crease and all the way up to the brow bone because the party will be there and i'm setting it with a nude eyeshadow so it will be easier to blend out the eyeshadows Okay, so today I want to do something a little bit more creative and fun and I want to use purples. I'm taking this purple shade here. This is the Sleek Ultra Mats V1 palette and I'm taking it on a very small angled brush and I'm going to map out the shape that I want. I'm doing a line slightly above my actual crease. And I'm doing something like a wing here. So it should look like this. Okay, something like that. Now on a small blending brush, I'm going to take this eyeshadow here. This is the Catrice Absolute Rose palette. And I'm going to blend out that harsh line. a bigger clean blending brush I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and blended now I'm taking again that purple shade from the sleek palette and I'm going to pack it again there so it's nice and purpley and colorful If you want to make the purple even more intense, you can apply a white pencil underneath. And again with that small blending brush with no additional product in it, I'm going to blend it out. Try to keep it a little bit lower than your eyebrow, don't take it all the way up to it. Okay, now this was easy, it's just a purple cut crease. But now what I want to do is actually cut the cut crease. Let's kill it. And to do that, I'm taking a little bit of a concealer on an eyeliner brush. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow here. This is the Maybelline The Nudes palette. And with a small angled brush, I'm going to outline the shape that I created in the crease. This way, I'm going to give it a little bit more depth and definition. Now with the same brush and whatever product it's left on it, I'm going to smudge the black line so it blends with the purple eyeshadow. I'm going to apply one more layer of the black eyeshadow so I build up the intensity of it. And again with the same brush I'm blending it into the purple. Now I'm going to clean up the edges with concealer. The reason I didn't apply any eyeshadow base on my eyelids was because if I did and then I set it with some eyeshadow and then on top of it I apply concealer to clean up the edges, it would crease for sure and we don't want that, so I skip it. On top 
of it, I'm going with the white eyeshadow from that sleek palette. Okay, so now I'm going to do some winged liner and I'll be using my Essence e Liquid Ink Eyeliner. <laughs> It's never late to mess everything up. I'm taking again that purple eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it along my lower lash line. All the eyeshadows from that palette are so easy to blend. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes with that white eyeshadow from the palette. Now I'm going to apply some falsies and I'll be back. I'm going to apply white pencil with my waterline and the eyes are going to be complete. Now I'm going to finish up the face and I'm going to contour again with this shade here. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Scalp and Contour Kit. I'm going to apply also on the top of my forehead. For blush, I'll be using the Frat Boy by The Balm. I used it in my previous video and I really like it. And I'm going to highlight with the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm applying it on the top of my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and just a little bit above my eyebrow. And for lipstick, I'll be using the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream in shade Birthday Sweet Suit. Cleaning up the edges with a little bit of a concealer. This is such a pretty shade. I think that this is the perfect matte nude lipstick and it's super affordable. So, and yeah, this is the finished look, guys. I hope you like it. I think that the hardest part here is to get it even on both of your eyes. I did my best today. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel and if you like this one, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys soon. Bye!